Hey everybody, today's video is going to be all about no indexing a blog post. Now to do this, you just need the free Rank Math plugin. You can find it in the WordPress plugin store area. You just need to install it, set it up on your site, and then we are good to go. Now, no indexing a blog post basically means Google just can't see it. So essentially, it's telling a search engine to completely ignore this post. It does mean that it's still on your site so that your users can still see it, and you can still promote it other places like Pinterest or Instagram or to your email list. So there's a lot of reasons someone might want to know index a blog post. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide if this blog post is something you just want to know index for whatever reason. I have a blog post open on She Knows SEO right now. We are in the back end of this area in like the edit post section. Um, and here, this is where we can no index a blog post. So when you get to this section, typically you're going to start with like kind of just the general sidebar where it says like visibility, your published date, and like um, maybe your categories or something. What we want to do is come up here and click this button. If you hover over it, it'll say Rank Math, but you can usually identify it by like the little graph kind of logo of Rank Math, and it'll say out of 100. That's your like SEO score. Completely ignore that. Here, you're going to be able to like edit your snippet and stuff, but we don't need that today. What we need is this little like toolbox dude. If we click that, it tends to like expand and then say advanced. Here we have our index setting. Now your posts are automatically going to index. It doesn't necessarily mean that Google notices them immediately, unfortunately, but it does mean that they are able to be noticed by Google. What we want to do instead is change this to no index, and it is as simple as hovering right beside it where it says no index, clicking on the little checkbox, and then updating the post. That's all you have to do. It is so easy to no index a blog post. However, there are some like extra little steps I often see people miss. So once you do this, if you really want this to take effect quickly, there are two things you're going to do. Number one, you are going to go and clear your cache. So typically on a blog, this is going to be kind of in your top bar on the back end of your site where it'll say something like purge cache. Now I use WP Rocket, so that's where mine is. If you have something else, it might be in a different spot. You're going to purge the cache. That way you're basically saying, don't remember these old things. It'll still take another second with Google, but this is going to help you out a bit more. The next thing you're going to want to do, and this is not super necessary to be honest, is that you're going to want to go into your rank math or whatever, wherever you have your site map submitted to Google. I typically do mine via rank math, via the free plugin. Um, you're going to want to go in there and resubmit your site map. So to do that, you're just going to go through the setup wizard again and then reconnect your connection to Google Analytics and Google Search Console. It just kind of gives it a refresher that like, okay, we've changed something. Now, all of that does not mean that this is not going to still be on Google for a minute. It takes a second for the search results to switch. However, when we are no indexing a blog post, typically it wasn't ranking to begin with. <laughs> so it didn't really matter to us if no one was, or if, um, if it still shows up there because no one was seeing it. So it's not really going to matter that much. But if for some reason you're trying to get rid of something that you immediately do not want to show up on Google, we don't really have a lot of capability of like forcing Google beyond these two methods to remove it from the top 10. So this is all you have to do to no index a blog post. You're going to want to go through and do this for any post on your site that you just don't want Google to see. I will leave you with one last tip is that you are going to get some like um, error messages from Google search console if you do not resubmit your sitemap. And that's okay. It, we genuinely, we don't care about these error messages. They're coming from Google to tell you, hey, I see this blog post is supposed to exist, but I can't see it. And so the error that you're going to get is going to say excluded by tag, no index. But if you manually no index that post, if you meant for that post to be no indexed, that's actually not an error. And Google will resolve this over time by realizing I wasn't supposed to look at that post. So I don't worry about that, that at all. You don't have to either. And this has been how you're going to no index a blog post. If you'd like to check out anything else on my YouTube channel, I share all sorts of SEO tips and tricks that are going to help you make it easier to rank on Google. Give this video a like and please subscribe for more. See you guys soon.